to this happy place. Welcome. Hey guys. Hey guys. It's Tim. It's me. It's Adrian. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Dreaming of Disney podcast. This is episode 75. 70. That's like a, that's a number right there. It is a number. It is three quarters of a hundred. Wow. What are we going to do when we hit a hundred episodes? I have no idea. So what should. And I'm joined by my beautiful wife. Oh, Adrian. hello. I think you said that, didn't you? No, I just said your name. Oh. Okay, so 52 weeks a year, so two years should be 104 episodes? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, we're at 75. I was like, wait, we should be pretty behind. And yeah, we are. Because March, I believe, March will be, March or April? I think it was the uh, end of March. March. March will be... Be two years. Two years. So we won't hit that because we've, we've missed you know, quite a few weeks over the Mm -hmm. last two years, Mm -hmm. year and almost two years. Yeah. But here we are. Here we are. So wait, wait, go ahead. I I was just going to say. Yes. How fun last week was. It was really fun. And how I still am kind of surprised that it happened. (laughs) (laughs) Have you listened to it? I haven't listened to it. I've been potty training. Oh, that's true. Um, It turned out really good. The potty training? Yes, it did. That did too. <laughs> potty training but no, and the, the podcast. The podcast. I did not, I have not listened to it. Typically I listen to podcasts when I'm driving, like when I'm just home, if I'm going to listen to something, it's going to be music and I've been home all week. So I have not, but, um, it's just kind of like, you know, cause we started watching his reels mm-hmm. years ago. Like yeah. before we even thought about doing a podcast oh, sure. yeah. and, and then through those found out he also liked Disney and it was just kind of like, I mean, to our boys and like, he's a celebrity. Oh, for sure. I don't think they, they haven't listened to it. No. Uh, well, they were sick. So, but they um, want to, but we usually listen to it on the way to school, but and they're, they're out, out of school, out of school so, right now. Um, but yeah, it's just, I'm like, is that real life? Remember that YouTube video? That's before. That's, that wasn't Instagram. That was YouTube. Is this real life? That's Charlie bit my finger days. Yeah. Good times. Man, that was, but, yeah. Um. Anyways, it was super fun. If you haven't listened to last week's, yeah. we had TJ from the Disney World is Awesome podcast on. And I really hope, I would love to play some kind of game with all of them. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. Like that would be super fun. Yeah. That'd so, be cool. Anyways. Um. Speaking of that, I was kind of speak to that. Okay. But we have lots of new listeners. Oh, hello. Uh, those who have come over from the Disney World is Awesome uh, group over oh, there. Oh, man, they're going to be so disappointed over <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. Um, you know, we aren't three dads. We are a husband <laughs> and a wife. Um, <laughs> and we go to Disneyland, not Disney World. Yeah. Uh, but we love talking about Disneyland. So yeah. um, we also talk about Disney World. We do. We've only been once, but we I feel like we talk about Disney World more than not necessarily we should because who makes the rules? Nobody. But like, I think we talk about it like we've been there multiple times and we've only been there once. But we've been planning, we've been planning a, a trip lot, for yeah. over a year and mm-hmm. then it got postponed. So we just, we've talked about it a lot that way. Mm-hmm. But we refer to our trip a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like one trip almost two years ago. Well, it was so compared we're gonna, to. We're going to be insufferable after this next trip. Compared to like a Disneyland trip, we we can plan it. I mean, we can go like, be like, tom- like let's go to Disneyland tomorrow. We don't do that. We don't do that, but it's very we're, easy. We're not that close to Disneyland. We, that have to, close. we have to plan a little farther. But I mean, I think we can set, decide like, hey, next weekend, let's go to Disneyland. We don't, we don't do that either. We've done it. We've never done next weekend. We've done like, hey, let's go next month. Okay. But we've, we've we can, never it's done. It's very easy to should. plan. It's very easy to plan going to Disneyland. Yes. We're Disney World. I, I still. Disney World takes a lot more planning, obviously, because we have to fly there and there's yeah. way more hotel options and, and park options and food options and all this stuff. Well, and even though like, okay, so. I grew up going to Disneyland mm-hmm. the last, since I was 14 or 15, I've gone a lot. 
Mm -hmm. We even went to Disneyland Paris because we took a trip to Paris and spent some time there. But I still, (laughs) as odd as that sounds, because I went to Disneyland Paris, I kind of never thought I'd get to Disney World. Like it was just, it was so far. Yeah. And like, and I've never, like, I didn't grow up traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, so... And it always just seemed like such a big thing to do. And then once we had kids, it was just like, oh my gosh, that would be like so much. So when we, well, and then we first wanted to go, this was back in 2019. Mm-hmm. We were at Disneyland yeah. and we were talking to, I think a DVC guy or a cruise guy. We were at the Disneyland hotel and we were talking to some guy and he was talking about Disney. DVC. We're, was it DVC? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was saying how, oh, in 2021, it's going to be Disney World's 25th. I mean, sorry, 50th. 50th. (laughs) Go back in time. They're 50th. And we were like, how cool would that be to like try to go? Yeah. And, but I didn't really think it would happen. And it's just Mm -hmm. so funny because we, (laughs) but I just didn't really think it would happen. And it's like, it's just a, it's in the same country. It's just in Florida, but like, it just seemed so funny far-fetched to me yeah. and then obviously the pandemic hit so then it was really like oh it's probably not going to happen but we really wanted to make it happen and then we did so when I was when we were there it was just like I can't believe I'm here yeah like I just and I'm still kind of like I can't believe we took four kids <laughs> in the middle of a pandemic hey and we never got COVID we didn't get COVID to Florida and one was nine months old no other adults, just me and you. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. For like nine days. Mm-hmm. I still can't, I can't really believe that happened. I know. Um, it was, it, I was going to say it was great. It was one of those trips that afterwards it's great. You yeah. know, we look back. There oh, was definitely it, some really good times, but like. And there it, was a lot of there was some, down. Yeah. It was just up and down. It was just a lot of up and down. Yeah. So uh, I really, while I'm so excited for this trip just me and you i really hope we get to take all the kids back Mm -hmm. and they'll be older i mean the boys our oldest is a teenager but our youngest is two and a half so if we go in a few years with all the kids like Mm -hmm. she'll enjoy things more Mm -hmm. at the time you know she's nine months old she you know didn't know what was going on but um yeah um, we're getting on tangents but it's not really tangents because we're talking about Disney World this yeah, week yeah. and our upcoming trip. Yeah. So, so that's why we had TJ on last week because even though he says he's not an expert, he's more of an expert than we are. Definitely. So he's gone way more. This, that's, you know, what they talk about. And so we wanted to get his um, viewpoint yeah. on certain things. You know, should we do that? Should we do this? Should we eat here? Should we eat there? Um, so he was, he gave us some really good ideas mm-hmm. about places that we should go and things we should do. And he made, like, I felt good about our, our plans mm-hmm. because someone who goes often, like. Talk about someone who was like, was good. says like, let's go to Disney World tomorrow. Then actually does it. And like, they you know? actually do it. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, he's based in you know Minnesota. So yeah. they're, you know, halfway there compared to us. Closer to, than us. Yeah. But. So it's only like an, I think hour and a half, two hour plane ride to Orlando oh, yeah, from there. So bad. it's not that bad. And it's a lot cheaper. We may be wrong on that. No. You may be. But no, that would make sense. Cause we, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Cause if, I we, don't know. if we were to fly know. direct, like out of LA, it's, yeah, only, like, it's only four hours to Orlando. Really? Yeah. It's shorter than New York. Yeah. Huh. I would think it would be about the same as New York. New York is because you have to go. New York is about four. You have to go diagonal, whereas Florida is kind of more of a straight shot. I guess so. I guess so. so. um, Um, But anyways, before we get into Disney World, okay, Disneyland, uh, our love, our home. No, we're getting into Disney World. Well, I know. Oh, I thought you were going to say. You said before we get into Disney World, I thought you were going to say something about Disneyland. I am going to say something about Disneyland. Well, that's what I'm. (laughs) Okay, that's what I was saying. Okay, Disneyland. So. Earlier this week, Disneyland dropped a bombshell. 
on us all. Um, really? I don't think it was that big of a deal. For some people it was. Okay. Um, so, you know, Wondrous Journeys, the fireworks show, mm-hmm. ended August 31st. And that's when they started all the Halloween, or the, not the Halloween, but holidays uh, type shows, mm-hmm. uh, fireworks and all that kind of stuff. And so people were wondering, is like, is Wonder's Journeys coming back? Because it was right. based off the 100th right. anniversary which of the over. Walt Disney Company, which is over. It is not ended on in October. And also Magic Happens Parade also ended around that same time. Mm-hmm. So people were wondering, is it coming back after the holidays? No. Well, Disneyland answered us no it is well but not right away well magic happens the parade oh, magic happens is coming back starts february 2nd da, 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 da. with no end date okay uh, wait when february 2nd oh okay so we're going what the fourth yeah so yeah so it'll be right before be it'll be new again that's a good one um and then starting january 8th is Mickey's Mix Magic, uh, which is kind of a they just did it. Least it felt favorite. like they did it for a long time they in did between it for a things. Long time a long time before twenty twenty, like the beginning of twenty twenty when they were still open. It oh, I, I could be wrong, but I feel like it was that when we went in twenty nineteen for our anniversary. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. There were times when we were there where the weather was bad, so they didn't do the fireworks, but they just did the projections and the song. And like, it felt like it, we've seen that one a lot because mm-hmm. um, our boys loved the song, too. So I just feel I just remember the song. And it's a fun it's a fun song. It's not the best fireworks show. Yeah. And we're a little bummed about it because we're going with your family and our nephew has never been. Mm-hmm. So like this is going to be. His first time. Yeah. And it's just not the best fireworks show. I know. So, but it's still better fireworks than any other place. Yeah. But it's just not the best fireworks show. And World of Color won't be going. Yeah, World so of Color's down. I'm a little bummed because it's his first time at Disneyland and he's not going to get the best fireworks show. Yeah. So Mickey's Mixed Magic, that starts January 8th. He'll uh, think it's fun though. It's yeah. Fun no, it's fun. It's, you know some good dance remixes of Mm -hmm. Disney songs. Um, And I think they, the reason why they do it too is because it's has a good light and projection show. So if it doesn't have fireworks, because that's what they do during, during the off peak is they only have the light and music during During the week. week. Are we going during the week? It'll be a weekend. It'll be a weekend. And then during the weekend they do fireworks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's what they do with this one a lot. Because that one was what they did when they reopened too. Because mm-hmm. I remember fireworks. we watched it in front of Small World. Yeah. Yeah. But then. But then starting for a limited time only, mm. March 22nd through April 14th. Oh, very short. Wondrous Journeys comes back. So what is after that? Probably Mickey's Mix Magic. <laughs> Let's just go back to that. Well, it's kind of what they did with, um, I don't remember, Wishes. Mm. The one. You, you, sorry to interrupt you when you said what's after that. The Pixar Fest. Oh, that's right. Fireworks. Pixar Fest the is The new coming. Uh, uh, Pixar Fest uh, that's right. fireworks show is after that, after April 14th. That's right. Okay. So, so anyways, that's a good one. But for years, they would do Wishes. The one with Julie Andrews, which I think, I think it's different for Disney World. Um, the one at Disneyland that was for the 50th had Julie Andrews narrating. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Perfect choice. Um, and they did that one a lot because they did that when we went in 2010, which mm-hmm. was years after yeah. uh, the 50th. Um, yeah. So they would put that one back in a lot. So I'm like, come on, put back in Disneyland forever a lot. Cause that one yeah. is so good. Yeah. We were hoping for that one, but That's all right. it's not going to happen. It's okay. I'll okay. watch it on YouTube. But, uh, anyways, so that was the Disneyland news for this week. So let's get back into Disney okay. world. So I posted some stories the other day asking, um, 
for food because really like rides, you know, we, we've been to all of the parks. Mm -hmm. We made it a point our last trip to try to ride everything that we didn't have here. And we like, didn't ride things that we had here. Like we skipped a lot of Mm -hmm. those. Um, why didn't we go on tower of terror? Um, it was always really long and I think we just, the boy, none of the boys at the time, uh, wanted to now Boston loves guardians, which Mm -hmm. is not tower of terror, but the same concept. Um, it says he loves it, but that was before he was tall enough. That's right. Yeah. I just felt like, cause Maybe. I felt like we knew that it was different, but we didn't go on yeah, it. I, I, it was, yeah. That was it was a probably tangent. just one of those ones that was just like, okay, do we really want to do single rider for like, you know, nah, let's just skip it. Cause it was always yeah. really long. I remember, yeah. but we do want to do tower of terror because not only do we not have it here anymore, but from what we hear, it's different than it was here. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so there's like rides we want to do, but we're not, I don't really feel like we want necessarily need advice on that too yeah. much where it's more like food because yeah. <laughs> we are planning on just like most, for the most part, taking our time mm-hmm. and just like taking it easy. So we're excited about food. So I asked mainly about food recommendations for each park. So, um, so the we were just going to kind of go through what we what we got. And then if you're listening to this and you have another suggestion, please let us know. You can message us on Instagram or leave a review and let us know, Mm -hmm. but please let us know. Yeah. If you, I just want to reiterate that. If you like what you're listening to, please leave us a review. We really love reviews. Uh, If you're listening on Apple podcasts, you can leave a review and uh, rate us with the stars if you listen on Spotify, you can use the star function there. So we appreciate yeah. if you're a new listener and you like what you're listening to, leave us a review. We yeah. appreciate you. I'll give you a shout out. Um, and so, yeah, or if, you know, you also, you, if you leave us a message, I'm also looking for like specifics, you know, like mm-hmm. if there's a specific food item that you like at this specific place, like let us know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So we've got Adventures by Linda Lindsay P said This is Magic Kingdom, right? I'm sorry, yes, Magic Kingdom. So you asked what was the favorite food, meals, snacks, treats in Magic Kingdom? Yes. So like anything. Like I'm not just at, like because we don't have a whole lot of reservations because we don't there's nowhere where we're super interested in. We just kind of want to try different stuff. So, um, we do have a reservation for what's it called? Roundup rodeo. Roundup rodeo. Um, Barbecue. in Hollywood studios mm-hmm. because we were kids when toy story one came out. It's not called mm-hmm. toy story one toy story. Toy story. Um, and we love Toy Story. And so even though we don't have our kids, we thought it sounded really fun. So yeah. we'll see. We, that one we might cancel, but we made it just in case. And then we have one for... Um, Tony's Town Square. Tony's Town Square in Magic Kingdom. There wasn't anywhere we were super interested in there. Uh, we did be our guest when we went with our kids, uh, which we loved. We thought it was a great experience, mm-hmm. but we were like, oh, we don't need to don't spend need the to money on again. it again. I yeah. do wish we would have been in like the ballroom. That would yeah. have been cool. We weren't, but you know, we're good. Um, so anyways, um, we're just kind of wanting to eat wherever's good. I don't care about like fine dining res- reservation, mm-hmm. just like I want good food. Yeah. Okay. So and back to it. Adventures by Lindsay P said Skipper. Is that Skipper Canteen? Or is that a place just called so. Skipper? That's what TJ was talking about. Skip Skipper Canteen. Or what did he say? I don't remember. He was talking about there's a place near Jungle Cruise. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. Uh he Liberty said he didn't, Tree. Yeah. Sleepy Hollow, which he talked about, which mm-hmm. we I know we wanted to try because we really want the Nutella waffle. Yep. And the Spicy chicken waffle, waffle sandwich chicken or something waffle like that. Sandwich, yeah. And then Aloha Isle. I don't know where that is. Did I don't you know. Look at that? I did not look. Look at that. Look, look, look that up. Let's see what Aloha Isle is all about here. Look it up. So while you do, while you look that up, I'm going to go on to our friend Johnny. 
Our friend Johnny came through. Mm -hmm. Johnny from the DMSW podcast. Do you have it? What the? No, I'm looking at the Aloha. Okay. So he recommended trying different flavors of Dole Whips that you can't get in Disneyland. Yes. So like orange, vanilla, swirl, and strawberry, which I didn't realize you couldn't. I, okay. I like Dole Whip. I have tried to get it a few times uh, the last few years, but usually like the mobile orders way out and I give up. Like it's not my go to. So Mm -hmm. I'm not super familiar. I'm not saying I don't like it. I just, I'm not super familiar with what flavors you can get in Disneyland and what you can't. Mm -hmm. I know I've heard of a coconut on the dreaming and dreaming. That's us (laughs) on the (laughs) Disney world is awesome (laughs) podcast. Um, I think they've mentioned a coconut or, or maybe I saw that on Instagram. So I could be wrong. Don't quote me. I love coconut. So I'm like, oh, is that Disneyland or Disney World? But I love like orange and vanilla swirl. Sounds amazing. TJ recommended like going to the poly and getting mm-hmm. a dole up sitting on the beach, you know, yeah. which if they have the same flavors there, I will definitely fl- try different flavors. Like so Aloha orange vanilla Isle. swirl sounds amazing. Aloha Isle is a Dole Whip stand in Magic Kingdom. Oh, okay. I wondered if it was. Okay. Okay. But yeah, the one that I hear is really good. I don't like pineapple. Right. And so I don't like Dole Whip. Um, But I wonder, is like vanilla Dole Whip, is that like just like vanilla ice cream? I didn't know they just had vanilla Dole Whip. So They have like orange vanilla swirl, which I love like orange sugar. Apparently you you can know with the swirls, you can only get the swirls. You can't get like one flavor or the other. Oh, like you can't just get orange. Yes, correct. So, or you can't just get vanilla. Yeah. Okay. And there's also a, like a key lime vanilla. Yes, I've heard of that. Swirl. I doubt you'd like that. No. You would not like that. You would maybe like the orange. Maybe. I really don't think you'd like any of them, honestly. No. But I would. Yes, so you would. I would like to get a dill whip, dill whip at the Polynesian and sit a on the beach. Whip? A dill whip. <laughs> Pickle flavored. Uh, Although they do have the pickle shake. I do shake. love pickles, but a pickle shake sounds disgusting. Mm-hmm. Disneyland has fried pickles and I really want to try them. Um, okay. Then Johnny also said the pepperoni and cheese spring rolls. I've heard of the spring rolls. I've mm-hmm. seen them on Instagram. Yeah. Johnny, where are they? <laughs> I've seen, or I've, yeah, I've seen pictures of them. I've I think heard of them. they're in Epcot. No, no, he's, this no, is Magic this is Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. And Bethany from Moms with Magic Plans, I mm-hmm. remember her going and like showing that she tried them. I think it was Bethany. Yeah. Um, so let us know where those are. I can't remember. And I guess I could search it, but I we just could. want, I just want you to tell me. Um, okay. Um, and then our friend Chris. <laughs> With the churros. obvious I feel churros. Like, I feel like, he, was he, was he kidding? Or was he but serious? Here, here, here's the thing about Disney World. They don't have good churros? They don't have good churros. Okay. But and you we'll, can't find the churros. Okay. So this was, if you've listened to us, you've heard us talk about this, that we were like surprised at, that we couldn't find churros because you, if you go to Disneyland, you know, there are tons of churro carts and tons of different churro flavors. And I felt very validated when we were in our Magic Kingdom at night. We were just like walking with a crowd and I heard a mom talking to her daughter in front of us. And the daughter said something about a churro and she was just like, I don't know, honey, this isn't like Disneyland. I don't know where the churros are. And I was like, <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. I can't find churros. We found a cart um, in Hollywood, like kind mm-hmm. of near like Mickey and Minnie's. Yeah, they were not. Very good. No, they were like cold and, and soggy. No, they weren't soggy. Not soggy, they were, but like chewy. Yeah, they just weren't good. They Even weren't the boys, crispy. like you'd think like, oh, they're churros. The kids will be fine. Like they were like, this don't taste very good. But we'll get into, we'll get into another park later mm-hmm. with some recommendations. But mm-hmm. um, as far as Magic Kingdom, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the churros there. And then it's just Dax said Oreo ice cream. That's Chris's son. Oh, it's Dax? That's Dax. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize that was Dax. Hey, hey Dax. Dax. Oreo ice cream. You mean cookies and cream, Dax. <laughs> That's what it's called. Cookies and cream ice cream. 
Are you talking about Clarabelle's? Because you're right. It's the best. <laughs> it's the best. I don't know if they have Clarabelle's have, there. Have you had it somewhere? Because I know they've been to Disney World. That's true. So like, but is there a specific thing Clara you're thinking Bell's, of? It's, it's dryers. I didn't realize that was dead. Christie's and cream. <laughs> It's no, it's not. Shut your mouth. It's Clarabelle's. Well, it's maybe, special. Maybe, I mean, when you go into Clarabelle's at California Adventure, it says, you know, brought to you by dryers. You know, so what? I don't it's know if special. it's just sponsored because, you know, sometimes companies sponsor it or if it's the actual product. It tastes better it there. Taste and better and there. I, it, this could, this is probably just in my head, but Clarabelle's. Cookies and cream tastes better than Gibson Girls cookies and cream. <laughs> it's the exact same. It tastes better. It does Clarabelle. taste better, but it's the exact okay. same. All right. Okay. So that was all we got for Magic Kingdom. If you're listening and you have more or something different, please let us know. Like, I know we won't get to everything, but we'll have like a day and a half or a day and an evening in Magic Kingdom. So I like definitely and things that aren't at Disneyland, like please let us know. And, and TJ, thank you for yeah, sending in. Yes. Thank you. What you did. TJ kind of also kind of verified our feelings about like, where is it good to eat at magic kingdom? And he didn't even know. He said sleepy hollow. Yeah. And you know, the, the, you know, we'd already wanted to try the Nutella waffle. It's just what, there's not as many <clears> options <throat> me. there. It doesn't seem like it. And it has other parks. And yeah. Yeah. I will probably want to get another guest on cinnamon roll. We've had it, yes. but it was so good. And oh my gosh. cinnamon rolls are one of my top five favorite mm-hmm. foods. I'm actually going to make them tomorrow morning. Too Not bad. like handmade. Don't oh. get too excited about what I'm doing here. Too bad Galaxy's Edge wasn't at oh. Magic Kingdom. We could get a black a calf. A black calf and a, and a good song cinnamon, cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Ooh. I don't know if I mentioned this. On the podcast, I know I mentioned to you, but at Galaxy's Edge, they have a spiked black You did. Yeah, you talked about it last week, I think, or the week before. Yeah, you talked about it a couple weeks ago. It has like a chocolate liqueur. Yeah, you talked Um, about it. Let it go. (laughs) Okay. Well, I want to try it when we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay, moving on. Go ahead. Moving on to Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. Uh, Okay. Our friend Christina says sci-fi. Hold on. Okay. Another Disneyland news. Speaking of black calf, <laughs> Docking Bay 7 yes. is finally open yes. at 8.30 yes. in the morning. Because before it, it wasn't until 10. It wasn't until 10. So we would be get there and we like, oh, we want we want black calf right. in the morning, but it's not open till 10. So do we get Starbucks as we walk in or do we wait? Oh, I don't want to wait till after 10. Like I need my coffee, you know, so we'd get yeah. something at Starbucks and then we would usually wait a little longer. Now we could probably hold out until eight thirty. Yeah, maybe. Well, the, now you can mobile order, so you can mobile order it as soon as you get in, and so yeah. at, right at eight thirty is ready to go. And just walk over there. Although I don't like walking straight to Galaxy's Edge, though. Well, that's where I'll split off and I'll go pick it up, and I can meet yeah, you. Yeah, I don't know. Else. I still kind of like the idea of just getting Starbucks on the way in, and then it being like my later in the day, like pick me up. That's true. That's good because part. I don't like going to Galaxy's Edge first thing. I know. It's not the right feel for me. Mm -hmm. I don't like rushing with the crowd and I, I want to do something more Disney. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Moving on. It's only drinks. They don't, they're not serving food in the morning. Oh, okay. All right. So Hollywood studios, Hollywood studios. We are only going to be here half a day, half a day morning until lunchish. Um, so our friend Christina says sci-fi dining theater, uh, fifties primetime cafe is fun with a group. We're not, with a group. TJ also mentioned the sci-fi dine-in theater. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, it's like, <laughs> I asked this and then I was like, oh, we already have reservations for the roundup. And then if we don't do that, I really want to try the grilled cheese from Woody's Lunchbox mm-hmm. because I love grilled cheese yeah. and I've heard that it's really good. So after I asked this, I was like, hmm, I'm not, I should have specified more like snacks for Hollywood studios, I guess, but we'll see. Okay. Then again, Adventures by Lindsay said at uh, Backlot Express. That's where we. Oh, that's where we that's ate where with, we the boy, ate with the kids. With the boy, yeah, okay. with the kids. Baseline Tap House, Woody's Lunchbox. Okay. And then 50s Prime or Sci Fi. I hear a lot about those. People say that those are fun. 
Um, See what the whoa, look how did the baseline? Tab yeah, look at look at that because uh, Johnny also said baseline tap house. He also recommended that. Uh, while you're looking that up, twenty three Barrett Gold said, assuming you've tried the blue green milk and Galaxy's Edge, yes. Yep. Uh, Greer cocktails in Og- Oga's Cantina. We've done Is that. It- Oh, okay. So that's the same. Greer's yeah. cocktails are just it's the just, cocktails. It's, and- it's a type of cocktail. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, we did do we that. Did, and, and, but yes, that's a great, it's a great recommendation. Like it was when we went, it was, it was good. I got the fuzzy tauntaun. Yes, he which did. Johnny had a bunch of, uh, <laughs> yes, he loves, he loves the fuzzy it's tauntaun. It's good. Yeah. It's good. I forgot what I had, but it was good. Um, so it's like a, it's a lounge. It's a bar okay. lounge. It's, you know, craft beers, they have some cocktails um, and then they just have like small appetizer type foods, okay. uh, Bavarian pretzel, California cheese and charcuterie plate, Ooh. coffee rubbed ribeye. Wait, California cheese? Yeah. We're, we're, no, we're from California. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no one knows cheese we're, like us Californians. We're getting <laughs> Maybe Wisconsin's. I don't know. Really. But yeah. Uh, coffee rubbed ribeye beef puff. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that is. I don't know. What's, but a, what's coffee beef puff? in it? What's a beef puff? Uh, <laughs> I don't what know if I want my beef puffed. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Head spiced what almonds. Is, what? Ooh. Ooh. House made sweet and spicy almonds. That sounds good. Again, I probably. I think I, I think in my story after that, I said something about how we're only going to be there half day. Um, yeah. Okay. Again, thank you. I don't know if we'll take any of those because <laughs> just because like if we were there all day, we'd well, probably try the baseline top house, but we're we go not again, going you know, to be. So we go again. It, it's a little tricky. We don't have as much time as we would like. Okay. Um, so moving on to animal kingdom, two different people. Lindsay and Johnny both said uh, the Nomad Lounge. And actually three people said the churro, the Nomad churros. That's why I've heard. If so, you're going to get churros at Disney World, get it at the Nomad So Lounge. we need to try it because we need to compare. Mm-hmm. Because the only churro we had was at Hollywood Studios and it was less than. Mm-hmm. So I, w- I am putting that on our list. Like, yeah, we are going to try that. Um, so Lindsay also said, Yak and Yeti, uh, Satuli canteen is best for quick service. Cause we, again, we're only going to be there half day. So we'll probably grab lunch there, maybe like a snack and then lunch. Mm-hmm. Um, so like Yak and Yeti, we looked at and it looked good, but we're yeah. like, Cause that day we're, That's I think a we're Thursday. That, that day. That's our last park day. Excuse me. Yes. That day we are ending in magic kingdom and we have mm. dinner reservations at Tony's town square. Mm. So I don't know if we'll want like a big lunch. We looked at Yak and Yeti and we're like, well, that does sound good, mm-hmm. but are we going to want a big lunch? <sighs> like so, we, we wish we had more time, but I we know, don't. I know. Um, so uh, we, need, we need to look at the, um, I don't, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciation Satuli Canteen. I'm going to look at that right now. So I'm on the uh, Nomad Lounge. Again, it's Nomad. <laughs> nomad. The Nomad Lounge. Okay. Um, where, where is that? It's at I mean, I know it's Animal an Animal Kingdom. Ki- I know it's an Animal Kingdom. But I don't know where. Okay. But uh, it's, it's, again, it's a, it's a bar lounge. So they have small food items with beer, wine, and cocktails. What are we talking about? Nomad Lounge. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying um, to find Animal Kingdom on the map. There's so it's, it's, you know, kind of, um, not, not Asian, but kind of like Indian, Asian fusion type foods, but the churros and it comes with vanilla crema <gasps> and strawberry guava sauce. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are going to go there. That could be our breakfast. They also um, have the, the Cuban fr- Frida sliders, shoestring potatoes, spiced ketchup, yuca fries, sour orange mojo. I wonder what that is. 
Sounds like a bunch of fries. Um, <laughs> I picked restrooms instead of dining because <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> restaurant. Okay. You're not talking into the mic. I'm sorry. I was using my hands to look at the map. Um, okay. I'm looking for, okay. There's Yak and Yeti. I know you could search, but I just always like to make things difficult. But Animal Kingdom is one that I really wanted a good. You know, if you search for the, uh, using the, here's a tip for the the Disney World app. If you just search for the restaurant using the search function. Mm Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you tap on it and it get you where you get the menu and all that stuff. Then there's find on map button. I have seen that. You click the find on map button. Yeah. And then it shows you where in the park it is. Yeah. Okay. So Satuli Canteen is in Pandora. Oh, okay. Um, which is one of the rides. For Animal Kingdom, we only want to do Everest. Navi River Journey. <laughs> No, Everest serious. and um, Flight of Passage. Flight of Passage. Possibly Cali River Rapids, just because I want to compare to Grizzly River. Rapids. Dino Land USA. We are spending most of the day in Dino Land. No, but we're not going to do the safari because we did it with the kids. And we have a really great zoo here yeah. <laughs> where we live that we go to often. So we're like, we don't need to. We don't need to do that. It's really cool, but we, you know, because we have limited time. Um, Okay. So the Satuli Canteen. Ooh, whatever that is, it looks good. Ocean Moon Bowl, Chili Garlic Shrimp Bowl, Smoked Chimichurri Based Beef. So it looks like, I don't even really know. So with this like Avatar themed... Oh, there's ooh. foods, flourless chocolate cake, chocolate mousse, raspberry, gelée, blueberry cream cheese mousse. Okay. So this looks like a quick service. Yeah. She said it was good for quick service. Um, because if you go back to our animal kingdom recap, which might be like a multiple day recap, cause mm-hmm. we combined some, we didn't have a good food experience in nope. animal kingdom. Um, and so I want something good in Animal Kingdom. Well, I, I take we did eat pizza at the Pizza Fari. <laughs> and it was actually I remember it being good. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I just want like I want to try. So we're definitely doing Nomad Lounge. Um The chopped wood grilled chicken bowl sounds good. Is that at um the Satuli Canteen? Yeah. All right. Because that's one of the places we want to go is down. Like I have like we are riding Flight of Passage. Mm -hmm, I have said multiple mm -hmm. times the most amazing ride I've ever been on. I had a dream about it not long ago that I was like I was in Disney World taking somebody to Disney World. And I was like, we have to go on this. And then Everest, you guys, I am so terrified because last time it was closed for refurbishment and we're going pretty much the same date. Not exactly. We're going like a little bit later, Mm -hmm. but very close to the same dates as last time. And I'm just like, I'm so worried because another ride I didn't get to ride. You got to do single rider. And then when I went to try, they had closed. It was rock and roller coaster Mm -hmm. and it's going to be closed when we're there. And I'm so bummed because I really wanted to ride it. You said it was really fun. And I'm really bummed about that. So Everest, I'm just like, I mean, I'm looking at open. They, they've announced their the refurbishments, you know, and so Sorry far the about only our thing loud that, washing machine in the background. <laughs> if you can hear that, Sorry. Um, rock and roller coaster is the only thing that's been that's going to be closed for refurbishment. <sighs> Which so, so stinks because it was it was one of the things I wanted to do and didn't get to. It was so frustrating. We walk know. up, we're like, okay, it's my turn to go on. Rock and roller coaster because none of the kids wanted to do yeah. it. So we did single rider and it was such a long wait that they closed it. Um, Yak and Yeti does sound good. Really good. I just don't know if we're going to want a big lunch that day. Yeah. Um, it just looks like Asian. Which we love. Um, so we'll see. I mean, we didn't get a reservation for it. And now we're a few days past our 60 day mark. So I don't know if there'll be anything. We could always try walk up. But if you again, if you have any like um, quick service specifically or snacks at 
Animal Kingdom, let us know because. Ooh, the Korean fried chicken. Where? A yak and yeti. Mm. Hand breaded tenders toss in go shang maple syrup dipping Ooh. sauce. Are we making you all hungry? It's like 930 at night. Go for a little <laughs> little snack. But yeah, so again, we're only doing half day there. So mm-hmm. breakfast, snacks, lunch. Um, but yeah, but yeah the, that sounds good. Thank the, you. The three, the three people that that left suggestions all said Nomad Churros. They did. So we are definitely so we are checking doing out that. Nomad Churros. Definitely. Okay. Moving on. This was a biggie. Epcot. Mm-hmm. Because all I wanted to do last time was eat my way through. I should have known with four kids that wasn't going to be <laughs> possible. Yeah. It also happened to be raining on and off that day. Not a great day. So this is our like like TJ asked us last week, like our redo. This is our big redo. Is Epcot big time. like? I mean, we're it's our first park day. Is at Epcot. Well, I also made reservation or park reservations for when we get there. Right, the when night we, fly, we get there, which we we'll see. I don't know if we'll be up up for it, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, well, we'll have to, we'll have to figure we out. Get there and then get to because it's like it's what a 30, 40 minute drive from well, the I, airport to the hotel. I, we'll need to figure out because. I'll get dinged for my pass for our pass if we don't sh- oh, show up. Oh, so we'll so have we to, figure to figure out, out before the day, we the go. Day before if we really want to do that. Yeah, so we need to figure that out. But so. I'm leaning towards no. Yeah, that might be a good just to because TJ brought up a good point. It's like we're going to be at Pop Century, so we'll be on the Skyliner. Yeah. And he said, just go up to the boardwalk, mm-hmm. get something there, relax. Yeah. Or go to the Polynesian. Watch the fireworks. Because then the next day we're going to want to, because we can't help ourselves. We love park clothes, but we can't help a rope drop. So. We're going to be tired. Full day of. So, yeah. Flying. But also you have to think we're not flying with four kids. That's true. It's not going to be nearly as exhausting as it was last time. So I've got Jay Burns, 181. Frushi from Japan. Hmm. What is that? Like is a it fruit sushi? Fruit, is it fruit sushi? Let's look. Jay Burn. Okay, let's go. I'm in Animal Kingdom. Um, See if I can just search and, fruit And just sushi. like, you know, a heads up. We will be sharing things, but probably not at the time, you know? We're going to enjoy our time together without the children. And then afterwards, we will share. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny when you go on the app and you hit dining. And you go to like the different parks, Animal Kingdom, not that many little white flags. You go to Epcot and it's yeah. like <laughs> everywhere. Um, okay, where is this? This is Japan. Interest- oh, and, and Teppanetto I've heard is really good. Again, okay. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to be here all day. We did not make any reservations here. We were thinking about Space 220. Mm -hmm. We're still considering doing just walk up for the lounge if we feel like it. But we decided not to make any reservations because we want to just like try different things. I really I I'm going to do breakfast in Paris. Um. Okay. Are you searching it? Uh, Yeah, I'm just I'm. There's there's nothing that says frushi, mm. um, or did he was it a typo? Mm. And he meant to or say, did sushi. You just say sushi. I don't know. Let us know. Because there's lots of places that just say sushi. Um, okay, let me. I'm looking. Um. Oof. Chicken teriyaki. I'm getting really hungry. Yuzu cheesecake, mousse cake. I'm just, there's not a whole lot, so I'm just going to, like, quickly look. Because it sounds interesting if it's fruity. <laughs> there's so many places. I know. I don't know how we're going to well, figure we're out just, what we're going to We're want. just going to split things. We usually don't. We usually, like, get our own thing, and we're just going to have to. I see that's what a lot of people do is, like, especially during the food festivals, like, they get a one of right. everything, and yes. everybody takes and a bite. just try it, Yeah. Okay, let us know, Jay Burns. Like, was that a typo? 
Did you mean sushi or is there something called frushi? <laughs> <laughs> and if so, where is it and what is it? Because I'm not finding it. Eggplant. But I'm very interested <laughs> if there's something. Um, we've heard Disney World is awesome. They've talked about Teppanetto a lot. Um, I really had no idea what they were saying for the I was like, <laughs> Tepeyeto, Tepeyeto, and I was like, "Where is this?" And I just had to search, like I just had to like go yeah. through the different places. I'm like, "Oh, they're saying Tepeyeto, Tepeyeto, Tepeyeto." Which just for the two of us, I don't. I think we did good. Okay, so we'll 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 move on from that. But let us know. Okay. Um, again, Lindsay says, eat around the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the festival stands. Space 220 I don't Lounge. think they're going to have, there's no food festivals while we're going to be there. I think it's the art. It's the art festival. Which it was the art festival when we were there last because we we're going mm -hmm. very similar dates. Um, which I think it was the food and wine when our original August dates. So I think I'm, so. I'm it bummed was. about yep. that. Um, but the art could get me in trouble. I kept wanting to look at it when we were there, but it would like rain and we had the kids and now I'm like, uh Oh, I might get in trouble by spending too much money is what I mean. Uh, space 220 lounge. If you want to try some. So yeah, we were thinking if we try space 220, we were definitely going to go for the lounge. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of our plan. Um, 23 Barrett gold said the s'more in Werther's store in Germany is a must. Okay. A platter of fries near Test Track, too. Okay. All right. I want to look at that in Germany. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking for that right now. It's like, where's okay. Germany? Germany is towards Canada, right? No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. There's Don't. Norway. I've only been China. there once, you guys. We hid in Germany when it rained, remember? Okay, I found it. There it is. Um. So there's... Uh, the Burger Tartan restaurant, Summerfest. Summerfest. Um, and then. And then Caramel Gooch. I don't know. Oh, where is this? I don't know. <gasps> oh my gosh, I wanted. Where's the s'more? I don't know if it's s'more. It said s'more. 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 Oh. Not s'more. Okay, so again, we don't know anything. So if you're listening, if you, cause sometimes I don't know, they just follow us on Instagram, just listen. I don't know. Maybe but, Google search. But let it, let us know because I really don't know anything, but, um, again. It I, is s'more. So it's, <gasps> it looks like it's all like, is, oh my it's a bakery. Goodness. It's all Werther's caramel original stuff. caramel layered with marshmallow and graham crackers with milk chocolatey coating. Werther's original caramel s'more. Oh my gosh. And then Werther's original caramel square with dark chocolate. So and this sea is salt. like this is like equivalent <gasps> to the Ghirardelli at Ooh, California but Adventure. Werther's, but it's Werther's, Werther's original caramel strawberry butter bar. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you. This twenty three Barrett Gold. This oh this is my. this is a a dessert destination. Yes, we are we are original caramel holiday flight. Four Werther's original caramel mini squares inspired by cranberry, eggnog, gingerbread, and snickerdoodle flavors. What butter Werther's original caramel layered into buttery shortbread? That sounds amazing. Caramel cookie dough cup. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go into a diabetic coma and I don't have diabetes. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. How big are these we, squares? We are going to be going here though. Yes. Thank you. We are, we love caramel. Mm -hmm. We will definitely, it'll be like a, we'll probably get more than one thing and then just like take it like. Cause I, I, I want to try well, this there's more. There's original caramel chocolate chip and pretzel pretzel cookie. Oh my gosh. Well, and then in Epcot, are we still in Epcot? Yes. Mm -hmm. In the, in Paris. Caramel pumpkin spice cupcake. Shut. What? Where? It's there's under cookies. cupcakes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't get that far down. <laughs> <gasps> Mickey marshmallow with Werther's original. Shut the front door. Yep. Caramel I don't, popcorn. I don't have. 
I bet that is good caramel popcorn. I pumpkin spice cupcake filled with Werther's original caramel <laughs> and topped with salted caramel cream cheese frosting, caramel drizzle, and sprinkle of pumpkin spice. Oh my seasoning. gosh, we just hit the jackpot. I don't even know how I would choose and then like how long it would take me to eat these things because they sound so rich and the older I get, the less I can handle. But, um, yeah, thank you. 23 thank Barrett you. Gold, you, thank you are a hero in my eyes. <laughs> okay. Then again, Johnny J, Yachtsman Steakhouse. Walking distance to Yacht Club is outstanding. So it's it's at the Yacht Club, so on the boardwalk. Okay. So yeah, right so outside. outside okay. Epcot. So maybe that's something we can do the night we get there. Sunday night when we get there. If the food booths near Italy have the mozzarella toasted ravioli, they're fantastic. Oh man. Ooh, mozzarella toasted ravioli. Food booths near Italy. Okay. I love we love pasta could eat pasta so, seven days a week kind of do Would not be good for my stomach <laughs> i kind of do okay thank you johnny that sounds like again it's like i just we don't have enough we don't have time I know. and not enough stomach space but yeah maybe we check out did you look at the yachtsman steakhouse maybe we check i did that not out. look at that and then he says two words frozen fusion apparently this is a drink is this near frozen is this in Norway? Where is this, Johnny? We know nothing. Um, I don't know, but this was something. So Most another sure. Disney podcaster, uh, Hannah. Okay. Hannah Hi, Hannah. Lear- Hannah learning the magic and. Um, Frozen feet. And um, what's her, what's her, um, Bashley ever after? Elisa. Elisa. Sorry, Lisa. He's sorry. so rude. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Johnny recommended when they went to Disney World, Hannah and Elisa uh-huh. uh, recommended them get this. Okay. He loves it. Hannah was not a fan. Mm. Um, Hannah just went with Beth, Bethany, Moms with Magic Plans. Yes. I believe... Bethany liked it. Okay. Hannah still is not a fan about it. Where so, is it? I don't know, but I believe it's a drink. Okay. We need to know where. Let's, okay. Let's. F- f- I searched and I didn't come up with anything. Frozen. Frozen like, fusion. I'm like frozen like. Epcot. Ringley Big Okay. Akashur. That okay. Akashus Royal Banquet Hall is somewhere that drink. Oh my gosh. So we this- are the dreaming of Disney podcast. <laughs> Disney World is awesome. Podcast talks about a lot. TJ recommended it. He said it's really good food. Given that it's just two of us, I don't think we'll do it because it is. I believe it's, it's character. It's, character, it's dining. character dining, which I hate to put the money into that when we don't have our daughter with us. Mm-hmm. I say our daughter because our boys are getting a little old for that. Um so, or maybe not. I don't know. I got really excited when I saw Pocahontas when we were there. <laughs> <laughs> the frozen, the yeah, frozen fusion. It's part of the food and wine festival. So I don't know if um, we're going to see it. Bummer. Uh, the frozen fusion blends twinnings, pomegranate, raspberry tea with orange ice cream. Oh, it's not an alcoholic drink. No. Okay. Say it again. The frozen fusion blends Twinnings, pomegranate, and mm. raspberry tea with okay. orange ice cream. Mm, I could see myself liking that, unless the raspberry tastes too artificial. Raspberry also tends to upset your stomach. Yeah, but you know what? It makes me mad because I love raspberries. I know, but if I don't I want eat, you getting a very eat, bad stomach ache on if our If I eat vacation. raspberries, if I eat raspberries... Yeah. Raspberries. I know, but I'm, I don't want to risk uh, it. I'm stressing that in an odd way. If I eat like something with like raspberry flavor, it doesn't upset me. But if it has like raspberries on it or like blended in it, then yeah, it, it could upset my stomach. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at Akashur's house. They have cinnamon butter. Ooh. <laughs> 
So that's that's it. That says they have <laughs> potatoes and gravy, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I've heard the food there is really good. It is it like I think it's like a buffet style. I want to say, but I could be wrong again. Probably won't try it just because it's just the two of us. Um, but okay, going back, I think that may be all we got. That's all we got for Epcot. Yeah. Um, but some good, some good things. Definitely TJ talked about the crepes in Paris and that is mm-hmm. definitely like, mm-hmm. I didn't get anything really good. Well, we got the ice. Oh, that's the right. ice cream. We went to that ice cream shop. Didn't they? But we didn't they, know about this. We didn't know about their like. Um, wa- is it a waffle? It's is, not waffle. It's. um. It's like fried ice cream is it a or something. Croissant? They put like ice cream in and then or something. Hang on. I got to look it's at like it. It's like the ice it cream looks amazing. sandwich we thing. Didn't, we went there, but we didn't know about this. Mm-hmm. And so we will. Like, how in the heck? How in the world are we going to do all this? I don't even know. We might have to go in Sunday night because it's it's impossible. Okay, here we go. I found it. It's called L'Artisan, L'Artisan de Glace. That's yeah, right. I, I took, super I good. took French in high school. <laughs> Embarrassingly enough, I did. <laughs> I just can't speak it. Okay. I wish I could. Um, okay. Cream home. Okay. Here it is. The Croque Glace. One scoop with choice of sauce in a homemade brioche pressed warm. That's so it's right. in like bread mm-hmm. and we have to try this. We could it's probably like split a, this. Yeah. It's like a real ice cream sandwich. But with bread. bread. And we didn't know about it when we were there. We How just got does the ice, ice cream. cream not melt when they toast the bread? It probably does, but it like, oh my gosh, we're trying that. That's, that's a must too. So, um. We're going to need to make a list. Oh, I usually do. Don't, don't you worry. I, I do know, about we make Disneyland. The list, but we don't always follow it. Because we're distracted with all the kids. Yeah, that's true. So actually, well, when we stop this and you edit, I'll start the list. Okay. Okay. All right. So that was Epcot. Mm -hmm. Then I asked, this was not food related. I asked what we should try to rope drop for Magic Kingdom. Um, Oops. I lost my activity. Okay. Because the biggest new ride is Tron, but you can't rope drop that because it's virtual queue only. Which is we're really looking forward to that ride. Um, I've been trying not to get any spoilers. I kind of got a little one, but I'm trying to forget about it. There's not a whole lot in Magic Kingdom we're like, oh, we must do, except for Tron. We have a lot of them at home Mm -hmm. here in Disneyland. (laughs) We don't live in Disneyland. (laughs) but We have them inside of our house. We have them at home. Um yeah, like there's nothing that I'm like, oh, I really want to ride that in Magic Kingdom. I just kind of want to like hang out. Like we didn't do the magic carpets, but we don't have our kids and that would be kind of <laughs> weird. Um, Jungle Cruise we have. It's super long there. Um, we didn't do Pirates. We didn't do Pirates, which I would check out Pirates because it's shorter there. So yeah, I'm curious different. what's not in their mm-hmm. version. Um we, I know I've heard that it's overrated. We really enjoyed Mine Train. Mm-hmm. We were pleasantly surprised by it. Mm-hmm. We had mm-hmm. a lightning lane for it because anything we didn't have over here in Disneyland, we decided to purchase because we're like, hey, we're not going to, we don't get these all the time. So yeah. we would buy lightning lanes. I don't think we'll do that this time, but I'm also no. like, we're going to, it's going to be slow. We have quite a bit of time in Magic Kingdom because we'll have deluxe hours too. So I'm okay with waiting a long time for it. For like sure. grab a good snack, wait in line. Anyways. Okay. So Jay Burns, who was amazing with the Epcot recommendation. Thank you very much. Yes. Said yes. we try for seven dwarves first to knock it out. Then head to Adventureland. That's what I, I was thinking rope dropping seven dwarves mm-hmm. originally. Just okay. we'll move on. Yep. Um, Lindsay says love Barnstormer because I said obviously not <laughs> Barnstormer because I posted a video of watching my kids on Barnstormer and being super disappointed. Um, she says Peter Pan or Seven Dwarves. Mm-hmm. Um, Disless Pod said not sure. Oh wait, <laughs> but I literally <laughs> just said go Bills. Go Bills. <laughs> uh, 
Sorry, there was Niner a, fans. There was a guy walking through the video and he had, he must have had a hat or a shirt on he or had something. A Niner, he had not Niners, a Bills, a Bills sweatshirt. A sweatshirt on in my video. Um, and then Johnny brought out a good point, which again, Lindsay said too. Peter Pan, the line sucks all day long, but standby Q might be top five. Hit it for rope drop, which I'm glad he said that because I remembered I did because we didn't do Peter Pan last time mm-hmm. because we're like, oh, we have Peter Pan. It's one of my favorites. We do it all the time. But I forgot that the queue is totally different mm-hmm. and apparently really good in Disney World where mm-hmm. the queue in Disneyland is not good. No. So I'm like, ooh, that or Mine Train. Um, and then pieces of Disney said Space Mountain or Jungle Cruise. We're not fans. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Disney World. Ers. We are not fans of the Disney World Space Mountain. I'm not saying we won't ride it, but we Space Mountain is one of our top rides at Disneyland. We feel it's better at Disneyland. It's different. Um, Disney World. It is the same as Matterhorn, just mm-hmm. in the dark. Yeah. So it's not going to be a rope drop for us. I Again, have to disagree jungle- with with. TJ. Well, hang on. Let, let me let me just finish. Okay, this, finish this your person's. thought. Also, Jungle Cruise. I can't believe. I can't believe how long the wait is at Disney World. Oh, I know. For it's Jungle crazy. Cruise, it is n- n- nowhere near usually. I mean, well, I, the reason, that long at Disneyland. They have a holiday overlay so at Disney, does, not at Disneyland. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They don't do the 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 jingle cruise. Yes, at, they do. I'm pretty sure they don't. Yes, they do. They do not anymore. They they used to, but they stopped doing it. So now Disney World's the only one that does it. Okay, but even if that's true, which I'm not sure that it is, even if it's true, two years ago when we went, mm-hmm. I was we were checking Disney World wait times a lot before our trip just to kind of get an idea. And Jungle Cruise is always long. And it's just so weird to me. Yeah. Because I love Jungle Cruise just because it's like classic. And I think the skipper's jokes are funny. Yes, you get some that don't deliver it well. And then you get others that are like, yes, you're good. Um, I love it. But it's also one that I can skip. So I totally get your point because the line is always long in Disney World. So rope drop it first. It's not a must for us. We'll skip it. Um, But thank you for your recommendation. Now, that didn't, that sounded insincere. I didn't mean it insincere. I really do appreciate your recommendation. I was just explaining our reasoning on it. I really do appreciate any comment ever. Yes, we appreciate it. Okay. You disagree with TJ. I disagree TJ. with TJ. He Ooh. said that the, because he went to Disneyland for the first time this past year. Mm. Was it? Well, he's, he went twice. He's been maybe, twice now. Okay, he's been so twice now. He, he's been twice. So he went last this past year with the him and his wife. that I know that. And uh, we listened to his podcast. And so <laughs> we follow along. Um and he felt that the Disney World version is more thrilling. Yes. And I don't, I don't, I don't feel being jerked around more thrilling. Okay. I forgot to ask him. So if you happen to listen to this, TJ, message us on he Instagram. He listens too. I know. Well, I don't know I'll if, he text listens, him if he listens all the time. But did you ride Matterhorn? I don't think he did. I think it was mm-hmm. closed. Okay, so the next time you're out west and you go to Disneyland, check out Matterhorn. Close your eyes. Okay, wait. <laughs> you'll have to ride it twice. Ride it once and open your eyes so you can experience the Yeti. But then close your eyes and see if it's familiar. Um, Matterhorn, hundred percent better at night. But um, yeah, if he didn't ride Matterhorn, then that would make sense. Mm-hmm. I just, yeah, I don't. F- it it felt slower and obviously uh-huh. more jerky. Which again, we will do it. But I think it also goes back to sentiment being sentimental to things. Yeah. I mean, he grew up going to Disney World, right. going Space Mountain. He has lots of memories and and uh. and feelings for 
that version of space mountain. So that's what he, he prefers. Right. Whereas it's the opposite for us. Right. So, I mean, to each their own. Yeah. But. But we'll, we'll go on it again because again, like when we went, we had like higher expectations. And so there were several things that were kind of a letdown. Mm-hmm. So now going back like test track, I feel like we will, our opinions might change on some things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm looking forward to our recap. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then today I asked one more question. I asked about good breakfast anywhere in the resort. I love breakfast food. I am like Leslie Nope. I would eat it all the time. Every meal. Um, we, one recommendation we got was, uh, Topolino's and we, I, that was one that I really wanted and, our original plans in August were to stay, we were staying at the Riviera, so we were going to try for it. We're not staying there now. And so just with our days and it being shorter than we wanted, I don't know if we'll get there. We were looking at the menu and we're like, okay, do we want to rush for that price? And I don't know if we'll get there. I, I don't think we will. Um, cause somebody did recommend that and I do really want to try it. Uh, magic travel with Karine, Katrina. Thank you. Like I do want to try it. I just don't know if it's going to work. So, but I love breakfast food. So I'm like, okay, anywhere, anywhere in the Disney world resort could be parks, resorts, whatever. So we have, uh, Oh, Rosic, Rosic's. Briar Patch, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, Crystal Palace or CRT? I don't know what CRT is. I don't know what CRT is. Maybe I'll have to reply and ask. Um, Kona Cafe, upstairs in the Polynesian. I think we got two of those. We did. Johnny said that too. And that's what what, um, TJ was referring to. He's talking about an upstairs restaurant at the Poly. Yes. And he couldn't remember what the name was. He said it was really underrated. So Johnny also said that at the poly mm, Tonga, Tonga, Tonga toast is a life changing breakfast experience. I am a huge breakfast food person. So are you looking it up? So I looked it up earlier. What is it? So Kona cafe looks really good. All right. Ta- done. Tonga toast, banana stuffed sourdough, <gasps> French toast rolled oh in cinnamon gosh. sugar. Served with a strawberry compote. Okay. And with your choice of ham, spiced ham, bacon, or sausage. Done. Done, Johnny. I don't like bananas. He doesn't like bananas, but I love bananas. Um, but there is a regular French toast. With- okay, but if I get a French toast, you're going to need to get something else so we can both try. Oh, my gosh. There's never enough stomach space for all the breakfast <laughs> foods. I love breakfast so much. I love omelets. I'm always like, oh, do I want French toast? Do I want an omelet? Do I want waffles? Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. Um, and then Jay Burns said Chef Mickey's, which um, TJ it's character, mentioned. It's yes. character dining, so it's a little which, bit more pricier. Like, Mickey waffles. What did they do? Because when we were there, we stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Mm-hmm. We got room service. Or no, no, you just went down. You just went down to the, yeah. to the quick service there. Mm-hmm. And the hotel and got Mickey waffles a few mornings. Why are they so good? Why are they so good? I don't They're know. so stinking good. It's a, it's a buffet. Ooh, Brock Rose buffet. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we'll get over to the contemporary. Again, you guys, there's like, like I want to try Chef Mickey's. I want to take my kids there. Maybe that'll be something we try if we ever get to take the kids again. Yeah. Um, But Kona Cafe, we are staying the last few days. We are staying at Grand Floridian Mm -hmm. so we can you know easily take monorail over to the poly Mm -hmm. so you like how we say the poly like we know what we're talking talking about about. come on guys um but two well technically three recommendations for Kona Cafe uh Tonga Toast done like Okay. So after that seeing is a, that, that is a plan. Maybe after, maybe the morning we because our flight isn't until the afternoon. Maybe our last morning. So after seeing that, I already made a reservation for. Oh, very a, nice. Kona Cafe. Love. Very nice. Because it was starting to fill up that day <gasps> for so, the day we leave. Yeah. So it's a little early, but dude, we're leaving that day. We have to wake up early, and we're staying the night before. We're close. Well, no, I know. the park closes a little earlier than out here on the west coast. Yeah, um, it closes at nine. Oh, okay. So. 
We'll be good. We'll be good. Um, what time is it at? 7.50. Okay. 7.40, 7.50. And then we can go back, get ready, and then head to the airport. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, I am so excited about that breakfast. I know. <laughs> it's like two months away and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat that. So I made a reservation for Kona Cafe. So we got that. Very nice, my love. I appreciate no that. No problem. That's what I do. Uh, we're also going to check out the Enchanted Rose. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe TJ mentioned it. And then I had already like seen things on it and really wanted to check it out. It's at the Grand Floridian. Um, and then we saw a reel the other day about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. We need to check that out. So anything gonna, that has like truffle fries, like count us there. I'm done. We're I'm, there. I'm in. Um, so yeah. And then this reel, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't remember who it was, but they said that they actually liked it better than be our guest. Mm. Cause it's, you know, beauty and the beast, but also more like adult vibe. But then yeah. if you like your Disney touches, it's ins- it has, it's inspired, it's inspired by, by. so instead like, of being like, in the movie. Yeah. So, um, so, so excited. This is getting us like really excited about our trip. We are less than 60 days out now. Mm-hmm. Less than two months. Um, we live close to the airport that we're flying out of. So every time I drive by now, I get <laughs> like excited because thinking you know, we're going to be flying now to there soon. The last time I flew was there to oh, Disney yeah. World. That's the last yeah. time I've gone anywhere far to fly um so getting very excited Mm -hmm. i'm sure i will have more questions that i will think of that i will want disney world goers advice on um that we will we will post and share um yeah yeah well thank you to everyone that uh yes thank you participated that sent us recommendations i know we have i think you know i think we have more disneyland followers typically because we're Mm -hmm. west coast that's our yeah but um but thank you for for sharing because we need we need help Mm -hmm. and we may have we have a few fellow podcasters who are disney worlders uh, that we may invite on just to sorry <laughs> talk more your phone's going off i know i'm looking at um this. so we'll get some more recommendations um yeah uh coming up so uh again you can follow us on instagram at dreaming dot of dot disney dot podcast uh follow us there uh, I was gonna say dot com. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> uh, and uh, leave us a review. We appreciate you all leaving us reviews. That's how people get recommended to listen to us. So we appreciate it. So, yes. Uh, so thanks for listening. And uh, we'll continue this journey this together, journey. this Disney journey together. I'm already excited about our recap. <laughs> and it, we haven't even gone, but I'm just. We haven't had a recap. In months. I know. Well, actually, okay, because we're going to Disneyland two weeks before our Disney World trip. That's not, we haven't even talked about this that much. That yeah, we're, we have a bit. I know, but it's there's like, not much to talk about. We're going with your family. Like we, February like, is the month of Disney. It is, and it's. Mm, <laughs> We we talked about it because we were like we don't like that there our trips are so close. That's just yeah. how it worked out with since we're going with family when you know we're scheduling different people's we're trying to schedule with different people's, you know, lives. Yeah. And, um, so if we have time to, we'll, ha- we'll, f- we'll film that recap. Then we won't have a podcast. I'm sure when we go and then we'll come home and have a Disney world recap. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, cause we haven't had a recap since August. Cause yeah. that's the last time we've been. Yeah. So excited for both trips. Excited for both. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys listening and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.